Okay, welcome back. Day two at the prison. Um, do I want to befriend Sam? I mean, he's my cellmate, so it would be nice to actually talk to him. But he doesn't really want to get involved in anything, so I think we'll leave it for now. Go to headcount. And after the headcount, I can get a visit from my lawyer. Hey, the headcount's starting, get in line. Counts heads, one, two, three. Hmm, that's 47 of 47, all the mates present and accounted for. No surprises on this headcount, that's good. Remember, any surprises for me will mean a world of trouble for you. I've got a real surprise for you. What? Who's that? Mr. Chicken? Warden. I was just about to read these fellows your announcement. Why are you here in person? Bok, bok, bok. Oh, oh. Captain Bruce, I appreciate your willingness to share the workload. But I prefer to give the news to these kids in person. It is my duty after all, Clark. Despite my lack problems, it's not too much trouble to get here from the administ administration building. If I couldn't even do that, I'm sure the board would ask me to retire. Wouldn't you say so, Captain Bruce? R retire No, I've never thought about that. <laughs> never? Oh, I know you didn't mean that. Allow me to say a few words to everyone. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, he's getting nervous. Stand at attention. One clerk is about to make an, an important announcement. Stand up straight and listen carefully. Eyes and ears open. He's laughing. Oh, oh. I see our captain is still as spirited as ever. He's taken so much of the burden off me. Oh, oh. Scanning the prisoners in front of me. Hmm, I've seen some new faces over the last few days. I hope you can all live peacefully in your new home. Uh, the announcement I have for you today relates to just that. I hope you all, uh, you all give it your full attention. To show just how humane our correctional fa facility is, a decision has been made to give our inmates a feeling of home. We'll be starting a package service. As well as letters, you can now all receive packages from outside. Ooh. The weight is limited to 10 kilograms and the size cannot be bigger than a shoebox. We hope you will abide by the prison regulation and not attempt to smuggle in any contraband which will be confis uh, confiscated if found. Okay, sounds good to me. Hey, show some gratitude for the warden's kindness. Dismissed. That's it? That's the announcement? Fish, you stood up straight during the headcount? It really made me want to pin a medal on you. Thank you, I'm not interested in your medal. You know what I want. Huh. Okay, I quit messing with you. I just heard from visitation that your lawyer has been notified. Now get your ass to the visit room, but remember, don't go causing any trouble. Okay, I'm going to automatically go there, I guess. Yep, there is my lawyer. This is the right time, why isn't he here? Don't worry, I'm coming. Thomas! Hello. Stand at attention. I will now repeat the visitation rules. If you understand, say I understand. 1. No touching the glass partition. 2. No loud noises. 3. The time limit is 30 minutes. I understand. Now take a seat and don't try anything funny. I am watching you. Hello. Hi, Reed. Hi, buddy. I came as soon as I received notice from the person. How are you? I never thought it would be so hard to see you. I'm fine. I have food and clothes. I don't have to pay rent and now I got to see my old friend. Ha, <laughs> looks like you're doing okay. I came up with some words to comfort you, but I guess you don't need them now. To be honest, I'd like to hear them, but now might not be the time. We only have 30 minutes, we need to hurry. Sure, I know the, the only thing you want right now is to take down the bastards who set you up. As your partner, I feel the uh, exact same way. Oh, what a nice lawyer. So tell me, what clues have you found? Remember, I told you that I investigated the Baroness Bar. You said that there was a lead there relating to the mayor. It's a place where the woman called about the scoop asked me to meet. That's right, I did some digging and found out that the mayor's former driver was a regular at that bar. Wait, former driver? 
Bingo. Looks like prison hasn't dulled your journalistic instinct. I say former because that driver who goes by the name Domino disappeared six months ago. Six months ago. I did everything I could to find out his whereabouts. Eventually one of my contacts in the police found a file about this prematurely closed case. There was a car crash, also six months ago, and the driver that died was none other than Domino. The mayor driver died in a car crash? Very... Oh, what a coincidence. Strange, right? Even though he was the mayor's driver, the case didn't get any coverage. Even you didn't hear about it, and you are the best reporter I know. So you mean, it was hushed up. It looks like somebody wanted to silence him. Whatever the truth is. There's over a hundred bars in the city, but that caller specifically chose the one where Domino was a regular baroness. Probably not just a coincidence. So you think whoever called at night definitely had something valuable to say. Yeah, even if she doesn't really have a recording, it might still have something to do with Domino. And I guess we have to find her. That's exactly why I'm here today. She's very cautious, baroness was just a relay station. The bartender said she won't be easy to find now that we've missed the meet. Unless she left some other message at that time, like a code for her identity. A code for her identity. Hmm. What is it? Do you remember something? I remember that night I took the call. It was late and it was raining outside. Flashback! Let's see if we can discover something. Maple Road apartment block. Three months ago, 1 a.m. rainy. Ooh, looking nice. I was just going over the day's interviews. Hmm, the data shows that the lung infection rate of residents increased by 25% after the chemical plant was built. 25%? And the incidence of skin diseases in children shot up by 40%? What? Holy crap! Yeah. Right. It's late. I hope it's not some sales call. Hello. Are you Tom from Woodpecker TV? Yeah, who are you? Get 30,000 in cash. I have something you want. Something I want. I have evidence of the mayor taking a bribe. I know you're investigating it. Yes, since that report, everyone knows I'm investigating it. But I'm not gonna lie, I've encountered a lot of people claiming to have information like you. But it always comes to nothing. Hey, you think I'm lying? Do you know how much of a risk I'm to uh, taking by calling you? Sorry miss, I'd like to believe you, but I've fallen far too many, uh, too many scams lately. Far too many scams. If you fell for them, you weren't smart enough. But if you don't believe me, you're stupid. Listen up. I only say you just once. It's up to you if you believe me or not. I have a tape of the mayor taking a bribe. Bring 30,000 in cash to the Baroness Bar at uh, Skid Road tomorrow. A tape? You can find uh, something in the red in front of your apartment building. Just show it to the bartender when you get there. Something and something red. Remember, I only wait one day. Wait, the red what? You broke up just now, hey! Well, there can't be too much red. She was in a real rush to hang up. Something in front of our house. I'll look for the thing she mentioned, see if I find anything. Then I'll decide whether I believe or not. Or not. Well, at least he's looking. Something red. Oh, in a trash can? It's raining cats and dogs. I should have bought an umbrella. Yeah, why didn't you? A red trash can. I doubt she'd hide anything in there. But open it. Ugh, not even the rain can cover the stench. I'm pretty sure what I'm looking for isn't inside. Uh, okay. Red, red, red. Red, red, red. Something red. Maybe a car? It, it couldn't be this, right? A billboard with red ink on it. Apartments for rent, only 2,000 per month. Limited availability. Don't miss out. Call now. 2,000 per month? What? Looks exactly the same as when it was put up a week ago. No special marks have been added to it. This can't be what I'm looking for. Hmm. Has the rent in this building really gone up to 2,000? I guess I won't be paying 1,500 for much longer. 
it's still too expensive. Red. Something red. Oh. Oh. Fire hydrant? A fire hydrant, of course. What could be redder than that? But you wouldn't really say a red hydrant, right? You would say a fire hydrant, that's it. But the rain is so heavy, even if she had put something on it. It, look, it looks down at the corner. It would have been washed into the drain by now. Um, it's really coming down. I better not wander too far. I didn't really plan to. Okay. It's a car. Rainy days aren't all bad. At least my car gets a free wash. Poor thing. I haven't maintained it properly since I bought it. The right wiper broke ages ago and the trunk is always unlocked. I promise I take it to the repair shop when I get paid at the end of the month. Wait, can I open the trunk? Maybe it's in the trunk. Ah, come on. Unable to reach. What? I didn't really plan to... What about the green trash then? Can. Fine, I rummage through the trash can. I guess it's only natural for an urban animal. I, I actually wanted, wanted you to look at the green one. The only thing in here are the leftovers I threw out last week. It's been a week and the garbage truck still hasn't come. Looks like I need to make a complaint to the Department of Sanitation. Okay, I guess... I guess there's nothing more. I go up and take a shower after I find it. Wait, I still have to... find it, but... Redford Street and Maple Road. This road sign uh, has the word red on it. But I don't think she's interested in playing word games. Nah. Wait, what's this? A pot of red flowers. Hmm, if she wanted to hide something on a busy street, this would definitely be a good place. Hidden in plain sight. I didn't even see it. I take a look. <laughs> Aha, the soil in the spot seems to have been disturbed not too long ago. Carefully clean fields around. I think I found something. Take the thing out of the pot. Oh. What's this? A card. Luckily, it was buried quite deep. It's still dry. Let's see what it says. Uh, enjoy our late night carnal pleasures. Is that the name of a cocktail or something? Um, 96 Pink Lamp Street. Turn left at the back alley. Hours dusk till dawn. 96 Pink Lamp Street. The back alley of Pink Lamp Street. Did she leave this because she's afraid I won't be able to find the address? No, oh, what's this? It looks like it's been stamped on. Looks like a loyalty stamp. It usually, uh, it's usually three for a free drink. It is. Let's see. Baroness. That's an interesting name. Okay, I think I've looked at everything. It's just an ordinary business card. Although it seems they offer more than just drinks. I guess she's probably just trying to lure me to the bar and bleed me dry. Ha! <laughs> if Reed ever finds out what happened tonight, I'll never live it down. But I mean... The stamp could mean something. So she didn't leave the card because she was worried I wouldn't be able to find a bar. She left it because there's a code on it? I think so, the card has a pattern stamped on the back. At first glance it doesn't appear to be anything special. It looks like uh, a bit like a maze. I thought it was just a bar's loyalty stamp, so I didn't take any notice of it. A maze, yes, that's what we're looking for. We are? When I was an intern, I used to spend a lot of time in the alleyways of uh, Skid Road. The alley girls created their own way of soliciting uh, uh, customers to avoid being detected by the police. They take their information like spe uh, species, age, vital statistic and simplify them into a line pattern. And of course their names and where to find them. Then they distribute these patterns in places frequented by potential clients. Uh huh. Places like Baroness. Exactly. Some of the more expensive alley girls embody their patterns on hotel, uh, hotel napkins. Uh, while some of the cheaper ones uh, graffiti theirs on alley walls. But the one looking for you had a stem engraved on the bar's business card, which does make things convenient. 
If a customer requires her services, the bartender can translate the pattern then and there. So that's why she told me to show something to the bartender. It seems that if I take this card back to the uh, Baroness, I'll be able to inquire about her whereabouts. Hmm, that business card. I remember putting it in my wallet. I didn't touch it again after that. Then I had my wallet on me when I was arrested, so it was transferred here with my other personal belongings. During intake, the guard told me my personal belongings will be kept in the prison prison storeroom until I'm released. Uh, so the one thing we need is uh, stuck in the prison storeroom. I guess that means the task of getting it falls to me. Remember, it's for your innocence and freedom. And to bring down those son of bitches. Hey, as your partner, I won't let you uh, go at it alone. I've got a little something for you. Something good. It should make things a lot easier. Oh, something good. With God's eyeing us, I can't say much. Anyway, when we are finished here, go get the thing I sent you. I'm sure you figured it out. Thank you. I figured uh, uh, I figure out how to get the 30,000 together. It's not a small amount. The money, I pay you back. Give me a break. You owe me more favors than you can possibly pay back in this lifetime. Thank you, friend. Inmate 1220. Time's up. I guess it's time for me to go, buddy. Call me when it's done. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Take care. Thanks, buddy. At least we have a very reliable buddy on our side. At the outside. <laughs> the Lost Card, Act 1. Hmm, inmate property storeroom. I can tell from the name that no prisoners are allowed anywhere near there. If I want to get in, I'll have to at least find out where it is in the prison first. Just before the visit ended, Reed said he'd sent me something. Something that would make it easier for me to move around here. First I get my hands on whatever that is. It might be uh, able to help. Get up. Why was I on the toilet? Okay, it's already nine. Um... Lost card. Find Billy. Where's Billy? Who is Billy? Billy? Billy Billy? Is Billy this one? Oh yes, it is. Do you need anything? Ask about mailed items. It's just a place to collect things sent in from outside. That's right, what do we want to collect? A letter or a package? Maybe a package? It doesn't matter, it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> I tell the truth, the mail room is too busy to handle all the incoming mail. And now the warden has gone and introduced a package service to boot, I'm sure you heard. The guys in the mail room can't even keep up with uh, inspecting the mail, let alone organize and sort it. So you can imagine the mess it's in when it's handed over to me. Let's see the card next to him. It's all here, but I don't have time to sort through it today. If you want to collect something, you can search for it yourself. Good luck finding it. Uh, it doesn't seem that much, actually. Let's take a look. Hmm, the letters and packages are all mixed together. And there's also a lot of Billy's guts in the corner. Looks like it's gonna take some uh, work to find my mail. Um, observe the car. Let's start by seeing what's piled up. Oh no. Check. Sliding puzzle. This is a challenge to test your eyes and brain. Just move all the blocks to the correct position within the time limit um left click to move a block next to the empty space the direction of movement is indicated by an arrow you can view the whole picture before you start make sure you can you plan ahead if you mess up be patient and try multiple times it's not as if the blocks would break out of prison oh no i'm so screwed i hate this um okay so this is going there this should go there and then this is already finished and then oh i did it i'm i'm a genius <laughs> Not really. The pile is a mess, but it seems that most of the items for prisoners in cell block A is on the right. In that case, I'll search from right to left. That way it should be able to find it faster. Search from right to left. 
Come on, I can do it. Search more. Come on. Ah. Uh, oh. oh no. What a waste. Carefully identifies the rest. Found it. Looks like it's this envelope. A reach uh, several handwriting for a lawyer. Put away the letter in your hand. So it was just a letter. This place is full of prying eyes. I better go back to my cell and open it. Let's listen to this conversation first. The Black Claw Gang might make a move soon. You have to be smart. But boss, business is good. Why do we have to fight them? Not that I'm doubting you or anything. I'm just a little curi curious. Is that hump of yours diverting the blood from your brain? It's obvious. They're trying to force the Black Claw Gang to recede the general building to us. Ha! Huh. Then we can convert it into an indoor gym. Then water won't run down into our butt cracks when we pump iron in the rain. Uh, ha! Didn't I tell you so? Uh, I don't think that's what he meant. Let's listen to some more conversation. Hey, do you still have that thing of yours? That thing of mine? Yeah, that thing, you know, the thing. Hey, what are you talking about? <sighs> I'm too embarrassed to say it in front of everyone. Forget it. Just pretend I never mentioned it. I tell you when we have a little more privacy. That sounds wrong. Okay, um, let's go. Actually, how's our hunger? Well, of course, I'm hungry. But uh, lunch, lunch should be soon. Actually, let's see. Um, can I eat this? It doesn't really say that. I mean, it does say it's food, so. I hope. No, it doesn't. Of course not. It's not helping. Uh, wait. Where should I do this? Read Reed's letter here. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at the envelope first. The content of this letter have passed inspections. Prison's mailroom stamp. It's a re resealed envelope. It looks like every letter sent into the prison is open and inspected. Youthful memories are tonic that offers an escape from misery. Your friend Reed. Youthful memories. Has Reed finally lost his mind? I mean, there doesn't seem to be anything special about the envelope. Open the envelope. A picture. A photo from college. I was so young back then. Aw, cute! I was so introverted back then, just the thought of giving a gift to a girl would make me blush. I just remember that I was so nervous that my mind went completely blank and I was rooted to the spot. Who's this? Ah, Maggie sure looks angry. Her forehead is wrinkled from ear to ear. That's Maggie. I admit I didn't realize she liked me at the time. I always thought she preferred the punk type. I never thought we'd be together for six years after graduation. Aw, cute. Who's this? Judy, Maggie's roommate. I had a crush on her at that time. I mean, what fox wouldn't like a rabbit? Uh, am I supposed to answer that? But I guess it's hard for a rabbit to like a fox. Later, Maggie mentioned that she married a moose after graduating. Hm, I guess you never can tell how things will turn out. What does this say? Photography club photo. It was Reed who dragged me into the club. He said we'd meet a lot of hot girls there. <laughs> Now that I think about it, he's probably the only, uh, the one responsible for me becoming a journalist. He is! What a nice friend! This photo was taken by Reed. He was always screwing around, never took, uh, took anything seriously. And now he's a lawyer? Who'd have, uh, who'd have thought that after graduating he'd become a lawyer while I'd pick up the camera? Okay, that's enough reminiscing about the good old days. If Reed sent me this photo, there must be some message hidden here. Maybe at the back? Maybe the clue lies within the four of us. But what could it be? Or maybe the present? My gift? If my memory serves me, it was a stupid gift. It was one of Reed's terrible ideas. Could that be the clue? What's the gift? Oh no. Was I supposed to do the correct answer right away? One day, seven years ago. Can't remember the time. Cute! Thomas! What did you just roll? A9? A3 and A4. Looks like I'm short by two. 
them. If you ever misses that gnome, I'm dead. Are they playing D&D? Okay, let me think. Use the ultimate focus card. Cast the rolling shot skill. Use the invisibility potion item. Rolling shot skill? How would I cast a skill to shoot another arrow? Maybe I hit it this time. Come on, man. The skill description reads, grants an extra shot after moving. Have you forgotten that you just got hit by the phantom spider a spider's paralyzing web? Oh yeah, I can't move for two turns. What about the ultimate focus card? I can use this card, it adds two hit points. Hang on, you only have one focus point, but it costs two to use this card. Also, it has to be used before the attack, but you've already finished making it. Oh, fine, I guess I messed up. Invisibility potion? Maybe I can throw you this potion so you can dodge the monsters next turn. But the bow and arrow is a two-handed weapon. I remember you haven't learned the three-hand specialty yet. What's the three-hand specialty? Without an extra hand, according to the rules, you can't throw anything. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Give up. Oh, looks like we'll have to restart the quest again. I say, you seem distracted. Uh, do I? Very. You rushed at the horde of monsters right at the start of the quest, didn't pick up any items and didn't use invisibility. Come on, your class is ranger, berserker. Sorry, I should have concentrated more. <laughs> Still worrying about what gift to get for Judy. I, I'm right, aren't I? I can read you like an open book. To be honest, I'm not even sure I want to give her anything this time. You know, ever since I asked her to the movies, she, she's been acting weird to me. Man, why are you always so hesitant when it comes down to the crunch? I didn't see you being so overcautious when we were up against those monsters just now. If you fail a quest in a game, you can just start again, but when it comes to feelings, sometimes you only get one life and no continues. Well, if you stop, there's never going to be a continue. What? Did that sound stupid? Why are you looking at me like that? Hey, I just thought of a way to make you invincible in your love quest. And what would that be? Dramatically hushed, Topo is brave adventurer. Go to the bookshelf on the left, right next to my camera. There you will find a film canister. Open it, and a great treasure will be revealed. Uh... Put aside your doubts, adventurer, who cannot even shoot a monster. Trust in my guidance. Very well, Master Reed. Guess I go take a look at the bookshelf then. After sitting for so long, I should do with stretching my legs. It's here. Reed's precious camera. To be honest, his photography skills aren't up to much, but I could never say it to his face. <laughs> Looks around the camera. Hey, I found a film canister. Open the film canister. Let's see what Reed has in store for me. Clear solution. The clear solution that Reed hit in the film canister. Will it help you confess your love, not only it's magical? What? What's that for? There's no film in the canister, just a small bottle of clear solution. Hey Reed, what's this bottle? It's not some knockoff cologne, is not Is it? Of course not. It's a magic mixture that I have to painstak uh, painstakingly develop. What? Well, don't keep me in suspense. What does it do? I borrowed it from the school's dark room. It's a special photo uh, photographic developer that changes color when exposed to high temperatures. Hey, you know, the advanced math finals are pretty tough. I need all the help I can get. But to help my best friend with his romantic struggles, I'm willing to give it to you. Now I'm really confused. You worried uh, that you will be embarrassed to see Judy again if she rejects you, right? Well, this will let you avoid that. Huh? So first you write a poem confessing your undying love. That's your 40, right? Then you use the developer uh, like ink and write your poem on something. It has to be something that gets hot when you use it. Then you just rub it out and give, uh, rub it up and give it to Judy. So you mean, if she has feelings for you, she'll definitely see the thing you give her and see your love poem. But if she doesn't have feelings for you, even if she just accepts the gift to be polite, chances are she won't use it. In that case, she'll never find out about your secret crush on her, right? But what what is something that gets hot when you use it? Let me think. Oh, did you write something on the photo? Do we have to get it hot? Hey, about this magic crystal ball lamp that came with Witchcraft Collector's Edition. What? Just imagine your poem being projected on the ceiling of uh, Judy's bedroom. How romantic. I don't think it would be a good idea. Trust me, man, your arrow just missed a gnome, but this cupid's arrow is sure to hit bullseye. You think? I don't think it worked. 
photographic developer that changes color when exposed to high temperatures. Is she trying to remind me of this? Could that mean look closer? The back of the photo does have a faint yet pungent smell, and it does feel very smooth. Reed must be up to his old tricks again. There must be something written on it. I have to find a way to heat it up and reveal the hidden message. Put a photo in your pocket. Oh god, how do I heat it up? Heat up the photo. I can just do it like that? Do I have enough time? I could use a match, that's probably the simplest way. But a more a stable heat source would be quicker. I can try to make a simple alcohol lamp. There should be some alcohol in the infirmary. Or could there be another way? Oh. Need the photo to reveal the hidden mag message. How do I do that? Hmm. Maybe there's something in the kitchen? Koala! Unable to reach. What? Quit following me around, Pipscreep. But Bill, you promised to protect me. Uh, those Black Claw Gang guys are watching. Hey, is your brain not working right? Or do you just think I've got a bad memory? The D was 20 for one night's protection. I'm off duty. Uh, can I get another day on credit? Just one more day. I'll even take half a day. I'm gonna play a few hands at club this afternoon. You know I've got skills. Maybe I can... You're seriously asking me for credit. Not unless you're willing to give me a few teeth as deposit. Oh, poor guy. Ah. Uh, and I think I'll stop here for now. And plan ahead what we're going to do. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.